I'm David Adams. I'm a physician at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and director of the Centre for Liver Research at the University of Birmingham and I'm also the Dean of the Medical School. I was a graduate from Birmingham Medical School many years ago and I did my initial training in liver disease in Birmingham and then I went out to the National Institutes of Health in the United States to do a postdoctoral fellowship in an immunology lab in the National Cancer Institute uh, for several years uh, and then came back to Birmingham in 1994 uh, as a senior lecturer uh, and I've stayed in Birmingham ever since then setting up the Centre for Liver Research and more recently the Biomedical Research Unit uh, in Liver Disease. My primary research interest is, is in liver disease and specifically in the immunology of liver disease. So many of the diseases that we treat in the clinic are driven by an immune inflammatory response which causes damage to the liver resulting in hepatitis and cirrhosis. And my interest has been trying to understand the mechanisms that underlie that damaging response and particularly focusing on two areas. One is factors that regulate that local response within the liver and the second area which has been a long-standing interest of mine is understanding how damaging inflammatory cells are recruited from the blood into the liver by specific signals. Because if we understand what those signals are, then we can target those pathways to try and reduce the inflammation and the damage to the liver during liver disease. We've been very fortunate in the last seven or eight years in that we've been awarded a large grant from the National Institute for Health Research in the UK to set up a biomedical research unit and the aim of this unit is to translate the basic research that we've been doing for many years in the lab into new therapies and new diagnostics for patients with liver disease. So for the first time we've been able to truly translate our work towards new treatments. So if, if this is successful then we'll be in a situation where we can test and implement new treatments for liver disease and at the moment we're in a very difficult situation because the incidence of liver disease is increasing but most of the diseases we see don't respond to conventional treatments so for many patients the only treatment we have is liver transplantation and obviously that's a fairly drastic treatment so I hope that the insights we've made in the basic science will result in new treatments for patients with very debilitating uh, liver disease in the future. What gets me up in the morning and, and makes me, even at this sort of later stage in my career, still really excited about coming to work is the, the combination of working in a clinical job where I have exposure to patients, because I am a clinician and I love working with patients, but particularly being involved in research, because with research you're seeing something new and exciting um, all the time. You've got to keep up to date, so it keeps you active, it keeps you up to date with the literature uh, and it's incredibly exciting to see uh, an experiment that works and that comes through to make novel observations and conclusions that you can then present to the scientific community. So I think it's that opportunity of combining my clinical work with my research lab that really excites me. One of the real pleasures about running uh, a lab is that you have students and fellows who come from all over the world. So we have had fellows from uh, many countries in Europe, from Canada, uh, Australia, uh, the, the United States, uh, India. Uh, and some of these have gone on to, to be very successful. So one of my recent PhD students is now um, an associate professor at the University of Calgary. Um, Bertus Eckstein and he has just attracted a large um, research grant from the Canadian government to develop a, a very important area of research which builds on the work he did with us uh, in Birmingham. Other students of ours are uh, running units in, in France, uh, in, uh, in Turkey um, and, uh, and in, in Germany and many other, many other countries. So it's been a very uh, exciting and interesting um, career working with people from all over the world. We put a big emphasis on our students networking with, with senior researchers 
because this can be really inspirational for them to talk to people who have succeeded and who have really defined the field. We have a series of seminar programs with uh, invited researchers from all over the world visiting the, the, uh, the university. And we'll also have people coming through and spending two or three days with us, funded, for instance, by the Centre for Liver Research. We've just recently had a long-standing senior clinical scientist, a colleague of, um, of mine from Australia, who came and spent two days with us. And he spent a full day talking to our PhD students, going through their uh, experiments and their data with them. And this is something that they find it enormously exciting to discuss their research with a senior person in the field who can give them advice and also uh, inspire them to hopefully take their work further. I think Birmingham is a, is a great place for international students to, 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 to visit and to work in. We've got wonderful facilities, and particularly basic science research facilities linked to a hospital with really strong clinical programs. So some of the foreign visitors who've come and worked with us in the lab have also been clinicians who've worked clinically at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital as well. Furthermore, the, the campus in, in Birmingham is, is contained, um, it's beautifully laid out, and this part of Birmingham is a, is a really nice place to live. My aspirations looking forward are, are very much to try and take our research into the clinic, and what would really make me happy at the end of my career would be to see something that I had discovered and worked through in the lab actually come through into the clinic and provide real benefit for patients. So that is, that is my big, big goal at the moment. Uh, but in addition to that, it is just to keep doing good research uh, and good science and, and work and train with uh, an inspirational group of, of young fellows and students. <laughs>